Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a week in my Erin Condren to share with you today. I'm using this Boss Babe kit from Two Little Bees along with these pens. One is the Pilot Juice in 0.4 millimeters, and the other one is the Symbolion marking pen that I use on glossy stickers. So starting off, I'm putting down the washi tape and also the glitter headers at the top and the date covers. And while I do that, I guess I'll quickly explain my planning. This isn't really planning anymore. I have converted my Erin Condren into a journal, but I basically journal the same way that I would plan in my Erin Condren. So if this were for the next week, I would plan this exact same way, stickers and everything, but maybe with more checklists. So if you wanted to use this style for planning, it totally works. I basically do this in my current plan ahead planner. So I just wanted to clarify that really quickly. That's also why I changed the name of these videos to journal with me because it's more journaling than planning now, although I still accidentally call it plan with me sometimes. So anyway, old habits die hard. These glitter headers are from my shop at the bottom. The adorable Deathly Hallows Skinny Washi is from Frank Hart's U. It's kind of hard to tell right now, but I did put confetti foil overlays on the glitter headers and that is from the washi tape from Rose Colored Days. Hopefully you can see that better when I wiggle the planner. It's really pretty. And then I'm using these date covers from Colourpop Paper. Everything is rose gold foil this week. I could have gone with gold or rose gold for this kit, but of course, you know me, I'm definitely going to choose rose gold in that situation. So onto the sidebar here, I white out the asterisk because I don't like it. And usually I put a cute little mini sticker over it, but I didn't have any this week, so I just left it blank. And then I put down a full box and I put down a currently list of things that I had enjoyed or felt ate whatever that week. So this week I decided to do listening to, which I had been loving the song Little Do You Know by Alex and Sierra, I think. I was also feeling more anxious than usual this week, which is unfortunate, but I did kind of escape into catching up on TV shows. So I really enjoyed The Good Doctor this week and had been relishing the sunlight because the sun is finally, or was finally, out this week and it's starting to rain again in California. And the highlight of my week sticker is from C. Amy Draw, and definitely the highlight was buying my Sean Mendes tickets for his tour. He's coming to the San Francisco Bay Area in July, which I'm so excited for. On to Monday, I had a yoga class in the morning, so I used a flag with a rose-colored, rose-colored, rose-foiled, rose gold foiled, excuse me, sticker from Magic Prince Co. And then of course I had to mark Coffee Monday. This cute iced coffee sticker is from Banana Doodle Shop. The Coffee Monday sticker is from this sticky committee. This laptop girl is from Fox and Pip. I used a full box to section out the chunk of time that I worked on orders and this really pretty work sticker is from the Planner Sophisticate for my newest addiction. I also did laundry that day. This laundry basket is from Cress Press and worked on my spring setup in my A6. I'm using a print Prussian A6 rings for spring and I'm really loving how it's turning out. I'm definitely gonna film a video on that. This crafting sticker is from Banana Doodle Shop and in the evening, kind of cut off really fast, but my sister went to Teaspoon and asked if I want wanted some. They were actually having their grand opening promotion and they were doing buy one get one free for the entire week, which was really exciting. The boba sticker is from Aria's Daydream. On to Tuesday, I could not sleep on Monday night, so it was really rough getting up for my cycle class in the morning. I use this insomnia munchkin from or just not wanting to get a bed munchkin from what's more with love with a marble quarter box from sadie stickers i have started taking an online class to learn about a new technology so bet you didn't think that you were going to see lecture stickers in my planner again but here we are i'm using these lecture stickers for my shop which i have to say it's pretty nostalgic using them again i used to use them to mark class in college I put that next to a foiled heart paper clip from Paper Blush Bar. 
Afterwards, I continued to work on orders and I used this desk scene from my newest addiction. I've been wanting to use those stickers for so long. They are so pretty. Really glad I got to use it this week. Underneath that, I put down some washi tape and Tuesday was really exciting because I took myself out on a date, which I hadn't done in a really long time, and it was so nice. I got myself dinner, and then I went to see Captain Marvel, and I got movie theater popcorn, which is my favorite. I like it, like, super buttery. I used a glittery movie marquee from Scribble Prince Co. to mark that, and this utensils with a heart is from my newest addiction. On Wednesday... It was one of my friend's birthdays, so I used some third boxes to mark that, and I had quite a few birthdays this week, but I think I only marked two of them in my Erin Condren. I put a balloon sticker from Magic Prince Co. over the flag, which I'm kind of nonplussed on why I didn't cover up the flag, because it's peeking out from underneath, which would normally bug me, I think, and it probably bugs some of you, but I just left it there because I couldn't be bothered, I guess. I marked down my coffee with another coffee sticker from Banana Doodle Shop and a heart arrow from my shop. Continuing to work on orders on Wednesday, I used a silhouette sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. On Wednesday, I purchased the Shawn Mendes tour tickets, which was really exciting and I'm so excited. I think I'm going to go with one of my siblings. I bought two and they're pretty close up. So, well, they're kind of in the middle, and they were pretty expensive as well, but totally worth it because you all know Shawn Mendes is the love of my life. So, really excited for that. I used a happy curl from Fox and Cactus. And then afterwards, I went out to wash the car because I really wanted to get in some of the gorgeous sunlight that was coming in, and I didn't want to go to the gym, but I still wanted to do something active, and I thought washing my car was perfect because... I could go outside and enjoy the sunlight and also get a little bit of an arm workout. And my car was really, really dirty because of the rain and I have a white car. So that worked out really well. I used a car sticker from Planner-esque. And then in the evening, I painted my nails and caught up on the resident. And I'm just putting some washi over that full box to fill in that space a little bit. The paint nails sticker, which is so pretty, is from Paper Blush Bar. On Thursday, I put down a full box for the morning section of the day, and then I marked my other birthday, same way I did on Wednesday. Thursday was a little bit, a lot of bit of a tough day for me, unfortunately. So I put down this This Too Shall Pass sticker that Malika lettered, Malika's planner, and that's in my shop, along with this sad girl from Fox and Cactus and a heart arrow. And then... Underneath that, I marked the gym. It was leg day, which when in doubt, squat it out is one of my mantras. I used a squat munchkin from Once More With Love. In the evening, oh, this was definitely the highlight of my day. So my sister's friend went to Japan and brought back my favorite milk tea cookies from Japan that I like to eat while I'm working on orders. If you watched or if you follow me on Instagram stories, you might know. So we went out to dinner and he brought those for us, my sister and me, and I was so excited. So that was definitely the highlight of my day. We went to Mendocino Farms, which just opened, and I we had a beer. And then afterwards, we went to Teaspoon. Again, I used a boba sticker from Aria's Daydream to mark that, and they were having their BOGO, which is really exciting. The beer sticker, by the way, is from my newest addiction. So Thursday started off a little bit rough, but ended on a good note. On Friday, I had a dentist appointment in the morning to get my teeth cleaned, and I always get pretty anxious going to the dentist because I'm always scared that I have cavities. But thankfully, no cavities this time around. Unfortunately, my family's dental hygienist is retiring, and she's been our dental hygienist for my entire life. So we're going to miss her. But anyway, my mom got me takeout for to eat when I got home because I didn't eat very much in the morning. Our dentist is in the city, so it's an hour away. And basically, because we used to live in the city, and my parents, when they immigrated to America, they immigrated to San Francisco. So a lot of our family and doctors and stuff are still there. So we usually go into the city for things like that. But anyway, I digress. 
basically it took up my entire morning going to the dentist because it's an hour away so an hour back as well and then the actual time spent at the dentist so my mom got me takeout to eat when I got home I was starving I used a takeout sticker from Sweet Quiet Design and this the second half of this week was a bit difficult for me I was really distraught going through some things but anyway I put down this it's okay not to be okay sticker I mean it's okay to be not okay sticker from once more with love and then I went to the gym the gym has really been my solace during these times especially when I'm feeling not so great so I'm really grateful for that so I did upper body and I had a yoga class and this girl is from Crest by Towie and in the evening I just chilled out and continued watching my shows or catching up on them because I hadn't watched any of them since they had come back. So anyway, on the weekend in the morning I saw something that made me really sad and kind of meh and angry. Angry not at that person but at myself which I'm, I'm intentionally being vague because it's just like a me thing, you know what I mean? So I used this mess sticker from Fox and Cactus and this Bok Bok Bitch lettering sticker from Paper and Milk. I decided to film my haul that day, which I hadn't filmed in a while, so that was really exciting to open up Happy Mail and share it. That's up on my channel now, by the way. It was the last video I up uploaded, excuse me. And then I put down a washi tape, and in the evening I caught up on how to get away with murder. And because I had taken the past couple days off because I had been feeling so hollow I decided to work extra on Sunday to make up for the time lost anyway so I put down well I did sleep in on Sunday actually hence the pillow but I did spend the majority of the day catching up on orders and catching up on my Salesforce class and also going to the gym again and in the evening funny story at the gym, I really wanted in and out I had this like intense craving, but I didn't want to spoil dinner because it was right before dinner time, so I ended up not going. And then I went home and, you know, we were setting up for dinner, and then my sister's boyfriend comes home after his gym workout with in and out and it was like the best thing ever. I saved it for a midnight snack, and I was so happy. So that totally made my day, and of course I used my Fox and Cactus Burger Girl which I love. So anyway, that is it for this journal with me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me do a hashtag Viv Wiggle to show you all the rose gold foil in this spread. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you are up to. I'd love to catch up with you in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.